Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership with a three-string cigar box guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Bonnie Raitt, Love Me Like a Man. Um, you could change the lyrics to Love Me Like a Woman, and it would be just fine. So uh, it's up to you. Songs in E. You can play along with any the album version or the live versions. Um, she's got a lot of versions out there. So uh, make it short and sweet and pretty simple. These men I've seen Caught their soul upon a shelf You know they can never love me When they can't even love themselves But I need someone to love me Someone to love me like a man Oh, would you step above me Just loves me like a man bunch of blues licks that we can work on and all kinds of good stuff so what do we got going on g d g 42 34 24 those are my gauges and these are electric wound guitar strings um, we are a 100 percent donation channel thank you so much for all your support I couldn't be here without your support, your generous donations. PayPal and Square links are down below. All right, so this song is in the key of E. Where is E? So open G, G sharp, A. A is a second fret bar chord. Two, 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 two. B flat B. B is a fourth fret bar chord. B, B, B. And B is C, C sharp D, D sharp and E. We are on the ninth fret. This is the key of the song, nine, 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 ninth fret bar chord. And we also have that little blues rhythm, or like I used to call it a rock and roll rhythm, but you could call it a blues rhythm. And what we're going to do is go down, okay, and then we're going to put our third finger or our pinky, whatever you would like, on that string right there, that D string, and that's on the 11th fret, so you see those two dots, just move it down. So you're gonna go two, two kicks, then you're gonna kick twice with this finger down. And if you've never done this before, it can be a little intimidating. So just slow it down even more. So we'll just go one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. And at that point, we move down to the A. And you can do the same thing on the A. It's a little bit harder. And you're on that F sharp right there. And that's the fourth fret of the D string. And if you don't, if you're making this shape and you don't hit that high G string, don't worry about it. B on the fourth fret. 
fret, and your pinky goes here on that G sharp, and that is the sixth fret of the D string. Back to the A. everything out with that B. And it's pretty much a standard, sorry, I got a scratch, um, a standard um, blues box, 12-bar blues. So if you've ever seen a 12-bar blues, it uh, has four boxes up top, uh, four in the middle, four at the bottom, so it's three boxes by four boxes. All the boxes on the top has a Roman numeral one, the Roman numeral one in this song is the E. So you would play four beats, four beats, four beats, four beats. Then you go to the next set of boxes, the next row, and that will have a four, Roman numeral four in there. And so that's the A chord. And you do four beats and four beats. And then it goes back to two more boxes with the uh, the one chord, which we know is the E. There's one box. Then it has four beats on the five chord, which is the B. And then it has four beats on the four chord, which is the A. And then it will have two more boxes with that E. And the last beat of the last box, you're just going to go down to B. And then it resets the whole thing. So if you've ever wanted to learn about blues boxes, um, I have some lessons on my website. And you can go check that out there. So uh, UncleMarksMusic.com. Anyhow, so... We're just going to run through this, and I like to use, uh, when I play the blues, what I like to do is use the vocals to drive the guitar playing. Um, let's face it, it's all about the vocals. Um, these chords are the same chords that every other blues musician has been using for 100 years, over 100 years, you know. And so it's the lyrics that makes it powerful. So we're just going to take it really easy without this little rhythm part. Just play the chord. So we're going to come up to that ninth fret. These men I'm seeing got their soul upon a shell. You know they could never love me when they can't even love themselves. I need someone to love me. Just loves me like a man. Yeah, sing a party. Who won't put himself above me? Who just loves me like a man? That's the song. The tricks. The tricks I was doing. So not only is a 999 bar chord an E, but there's another E down here. Four, two, four. And there's another E. Four, two, one. So four, two, one. And I don't expect any beginners to get this immediately right away. But a lot of you people have been taking my lessons and you know what this inversion looks like. But you don't really need these chords. What we want to do is pick out the notes that are in them. So we have this fourth fret B note. We don't need that, so let's just not think about it. How about this E and that G sharp? And that A, these are really nice because you can kind of... So you're pressing down really hard and pulling. So that's a little trick you can do. So you're here. It's a nice 
nice little trick. And it reminds me of the... So it reminds you of that. So like I said, all these tricks you can use in any song. Um, Catfish Blues has a lot of these tricks. Also, this A. This A can be bent a little bit, and it creates some little bit of tension. And it's a hard move from down here back up to this 9 to get this. And I know it is. It's hard for me, too. So this is something you just have to work on. And when I'm down here, I go... I know I need to slide up to here. I put my finger on that and slide up that way. So that's how I do it. I stay on the fretboard. That's a real key to playing guitar is to keep your fingers on the fretboard. And that way you're at least within reason going to get somewhere. This is the idea, is to not just let it fall apart. So there's also a chord called an E7, and that is 9-9-7. Nine, nine, but I'm not worried about that G bass string. I want these two. So this would look like X, not playing, and 9-7. So I'm going to take these two notes... And then I'm going to play that A, which is the same as this A. So this A here on the 7th fret D string. Then I'm going to play this 5th fret, and I'm going to bend it a little. So I'm going to do that a little bit. Also, this 4-2-4 four, four can be moved all the way up to here, 14, uh, 16, 14, 16. But I don't care about that. I just want that note. That 14, 12, 14... using those notes that we had before. That's all I'm doing is just using the notes we've already talked about and I'm putting them in a in a little package. That's kind of what a solo is. You're taking little bits and pieces and you put it together in a package. So that's how a solo works. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all your generous support. PayPal and Square links are down below. I couldn't be here without you. You are the reason that this channel exists, and I appreciate all the kind words and comments, and I hold them all dear to my heart. Thank you so much for everything, and uh, we'll see you again soon.